Hello, welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to draw some ideas I've had for a little while now. As I'm sure a lot of you are aware, the new Spider-Verse film came out recently and while I still haven't seen it yet, I am super hyped and inspired. I recently did a super short video decorating this double page spread with some digital art I'd been doing. I wanted to put it in my sketchbook, so I decided to try and make it look styled after the films. While doing this, I accidentally made myself a new spider OC, which is always fun, and of course they're cowboy related. So I wanted to make a video for Pride Month. Since I've been on a bit of a high drawing the spider, I thought it would be fun to combine the two into something fun. I have a couple ideas I wanted to try. You might have seen them on the post-it notes. We're only doing two of them today. The others are just things I've done for myself since finishing this video. So for the first one I wanted to draw something with movement, so I got my spidey here swinging, which means I get to play around with the swishiness of their poncho and just go crazy with the flag. I do kind of wish I'd made the flag a bit bigger or just had it be more of the focus of the piece, but I do still really like how this one ended. So yeah, like I said, this spidey is cowboy themed. I'd been drawing some of the others as cowboys, Miles, Gwen, Peter and Deadpool for some reason. So I was really just drawing another Spidey in a cowboy hat, gave him a poncho and then when it came time to colouring just decided to get a little funky with it. Because they were wearing a poncho and I didn't want to just put the spider web lines on the face, I was trying to think of how to incorporate the web design when I realised I could put it on the poncho. And I absolutely love how this looks. You get the cool web design, a fun piece of billowing fabric and most importantly tassels. You guys know I love tassels. The look of this spider underneath the cowboy accessories is pretty much inspired by my really old spider OC I made back when I saw the first Spider-Verse film. They were pretty plain and boring and you can kind of tell I didn't have a plan for them. I'd just seen other people making spider sonas and I wanted to make one too. That's where the neon pink and the spider logo that you can't see, it's covered by the poncho, come from. And although I don't like the old design, I still kind of like that it's present in this one. It just feels like I'm giving the old one like a chance. So the name of this spider. I was thinking it would be cool to have it cowboy related, maybe something inspired by, by Gunslinger, since they do actually have a gun. It's non-lethal, it mostly has stun bullets, nets, and then cute little joke flags that are absolutely necessary. So naturally I came up with Webslinger, a pretty obvious name for a cowboy spider. I was even thinking at the time that I wouldn't be surprised if there was already a spider out there with that name, and guess what? There is. I think they might feature in the new film. I haven't seen it yet though, and I'll admit that I don't really read the comics. And while I could have done some research for this, it's also really not a big deal. This is just a spider character for me that makes me happy, so I don't really mind that it shares the same name as an official one. At this point, I'm just colouring in the flag, and you probably noticed I'm using the design for the progress flag. It was initially going to use the standard pride flag but I thought it would be nice to use a more inclusive flag. As I said earlier I wish I had the flag taking up more of the page as it would have also made it easier to see the beginning section. It would have made it easier to accurately put the triangle on too as I think I got confused and kind of lost the shape of the flag. When it comes to pride I really enjoy trying to do something for it. I have a few OCs who are part of the LGBTQ community and I usually like to do something with them at this time of year. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get anything done this month since I've had a lot more work than usual and I was originally planning on doing something for my girls Clarissa and Bertha like I did last year but then I got so swept up in Spider-Man so I thought I'd just use the motivation and inspiration I did have and just hurry up and do something. I'm currently working on the background. I really wasn't sure what to do at first. Usually I would give this kind of thing a rainbow background but seeing as I have the flag I thought it might be a bit much so instead I went back and looked at the background I did for the very first page of this book. It's not something I've posted anywhere, um, it's basically a sort of gradient that I wanted to give sunset vibes, so starting from the top it goes lavender, apricot yellow, coral pink and then red. Because I'm using Poscas it's not so easy to get a super smooth gradient without absolutely ruining the pens, um, but that's fine because I prefer the more stylized look anyway. There's an artist on YouTube I like, Casey Golden, she does something I really like when it comes to these types of gradients where you section off 
where you want each part of the colour to be and then afterwards go in and add lines and blobs and such of colours to the segments it's touching. I just really like how it looks and I've always loved how Casey does this so yeah that's what I chose to do for the background of this one. Although looking at the yellow I do also think a completely yellow background would have looked nice too. And now I'm just filling in the text bubble because I just really liked the original line I put on the post-it note that you can see on the right. Of course this wouldn't be right without a few sparkles so I wanted it to be rainbowish going from red down to purple. I didn't bother with the yellow sparkles as they would have been on the yellow background segment so you wouldn't have been able to see them. Oh and I almost forgot the web that Spidey was hanging from which would have been awkward and I gave it a little heart because it's cute. Now. On to the next one. This one is actually a combination of two ideas, one I had and one my brother had. Spidey holding two spray cans that spew out rainbow smoke and then Spidey shooting a rocket launcher that also has rainbow smoke. I thought both ideas were interesting separately but when I was thinking about how I was going to put them on a page I just really liked the idea of them being together so that the smoke from both pieces joined up and filled the page. Now I didn't look up a reference for a rocket launcher so I know it's wrong but it really doesn't matter you know what it is it gets the point across also i remembered something else i wanted to say about the name of this spidey when i found out web slinger already existed i temporarily thought about changing it to something else my brother thought it might be fun to take existing cowboy names and movie names and just tweak them slightly and we got a few that i just i really like because they're so stupid so we got a fistful of spiders the first traveling spider where eagle spider dirty spider the spider uh, maybe you've realized by now we were just combing through clint eastwood's imdb page um and i don't even think that all of them were cowboy films but as you know i'm just sticking with web slinger as it was my first name for them anyway i really struggle when it comes to naming things outside of web slinger and spidey this funky little dude doesn't actually have another name the original spider i made years ago i was thinking of calling crawler or the crawler which is also kind of lame I have no idea how people come up with such interesting names and titles. Um, I'd actually be curious to know if you guys have any spider characters, what you've named them, or if you just have a character who has a name you're proud of in general. I'd really like to know. So I kind of have the colour scheme for this gremlin down. It was honestly an accident. Back on the page where they first came into existence, you might have noticed that the two drawings of them had different colours, and that's because I was just messing around with my Poscas. Poscas have quite a limited colour range, so you can get combos you wouldn't normally go for. Anyway, the second version I did just kind of stuck in my brain and I didn't plan for it to be their final colour scheme but I haven't stopped using it so I guess that's that. I can change it in the future if I feel like it but I just really like the blue of the poncho with the green shading and the beige lines. I also quite like how it looks with the neon pink on the actual spider like the face and the hands and that. I just really like the combo I think it's nice. You're probably wondering why baby Yoda is on that previous page. I remember now that his name is Grogu but I will forever refer to him as baby Yoda. You might be wondering why he's there. It was a really hot day and I needed I needed my fan on and honestly it, it helped the Poscas dry faster which helped me get the you know finish the video a bit quicker. So he's just on that page to stop it from constantly blowing from the fan because that would have been so annoying to have to watch and I thought it'd be cute for him to have a little cameo for absolutely no reason. This page was quite fun trying to figure out the smoke and how I was going to have the rainbow gradient kind of thing through the smoke. I really liked the smoke but I thought it looked a bit disjointed because smoke usually flows into each other. Similar to the gradient I did on the other piece, I wanted to put colours from the smoke below onto the layer above and I'm really happy I did that. It just adds a bit more texture um, and I really like drawings and things to have texture in them. Oh and for those wondering what the sketchbook is, it's a, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, um, it's a Leuchtturm 1917. It's a German brand and it's one of my absolutely favourite types of sketchbooks. I talk a bit more about it in my Q&A video that I swear I am working on. I've got the recordings, I just need to finish editing it and then putting footage in the background so you guys actually have something to look at. Oh and here I'm just pulling off all the hard blobs of paper and again need to add sparkles so this one I'm just doing with the beige pen just because it's a rainbow so if I did rainbow again it wouldn't show up um, and I think it would be too much anyway but yeah that's it for these two pieces I do really like how they came out I like them together uh, the second one I do think was a bit more simple but 
I think it works because I'm using the Posca pens. I think it, it looks nice. That is it for this video. Let me know what you thought of them. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons. Dispy, Majin Pauly, Megan Palmer, Grimclaw, Lily M, Bailey, Non-Toxic, Squiddy, Saint Nix, and LP. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for choosing to support me. I do actually have a sketchbook tour that is done and ready. I just haven't posted it properly to YouTube yet. It is now up on my Patreon. So if you're a Patreon member, you can go watch it now. It will be coming to YouTube at some point. I just didn't want to post it yet because I wanted to get this video out in time for Pride Month and I have a couple collaboration pieces that I also wanted to get out first. Something has happened with one of them that means it might be delayed um, a fair bit. Um, and if that's the case, I'll probably post the sketchbook video when I would have posted that one, but yeah. Sketchbook video is done, just waiting to get it posted and Q&A video will be done soon as well and I have plans for other videos, uh, I just need to get around and do them. Um, I have loads that I'm editing at the moment so that hopefully means I will have a backlog of videos for you guys. But yeah, thank you so much if you watched this video, if you made it this far, thank you and I hope you're having a lovely day.